Hi, Austin Bonjour here, and we're out here at Lake Nascimento during May, and I want to discuss to you uh, post spawn spotted bass fishing conditions. Um, I, the two baits that I'm going to be fishing in this little video is uh, Revenge Buzz Bait, a Revenge Buzz Bait 3 8 with one of my own skirts on it, and a Sark Trues, and a Sammy. A little bit of chartreuse in it. And the reason why I use chartreuse and for spotted bass is that little bit of chartreuse on my baits. They, they key on it a little bit more when it's overcast like this. And also, spotted bass don't like chartreuse at all. Well, they, I guess they like it, but they don't like it. They'll, they'll eat it a lot better. It pisses them off. And uh, that's a good tip if you're using jigs or anything for spotted bass worms dye the tips of them chartreuse and it comes out a little bit better on your more productive even if it's over or especially when it's overcast and uh, we're here having just a little fun tournament today with a couple of my buddies got a few fish so far in the live well two nice little mouse minnow spots and uh caught those i caught one on a buzz bait and i caught one on a sammy we've only been here for about 15 20 minutes and I've missed, I should have had a quick limit, but I've missed my all my opportunities so far on it. Caught one on a buzzbait, one on a Sammy, and then missed four on a buzzbait. And my dad missed one dragging worms around, but uh, the reason why I pick a buzzbait and a Sammy for my search baits uh, for spotted bass is that spots suspend year-round, and especially when they come off their beds. Like right now, they're post spawn, and there's some fish starting to fry around these trees, like there's pine trees that the fishing game planted, and uh, they'll, they'll be guarding their fry around these pine trees and whatnot, or they'll just be sitting like keeper walls behind us way back there. They, the fish will just pull out off those walls and sit over, I mean, you're 10 feet off those walls and you're sitting in 100 feet of water, but the fish will be sitting maybe only 10 feet down, but in over 100 feet of water. And uh, they'll just pull out and suspend out there. And there's only a couple baits you can catch them with. You can catch them with a Senko, a Crankbait, a Flick Shade, a Light Dart Head, stuff like that. But I mean, that's stuff that takes a while. When you can, when they're active in the morning like this, and plus it's overcast, you can take a buzz bait and a Sammy and just go over those, down those walls and down these banks, fishing around these pine trees and flooded willows and catch fish on these on these buzz baits and these jammies. And to separate the two, I like fishing buzz baits around the cover. Like you see here, we have pine trees and fishing the buzz baits around the pine trees. And if there wasn't if there wasn't any cover, I'd be throwing that sammy uh, more often than not. Uh, you know, the, you know, these lakes like Shasta and Orville. structure it's very key to look for that wood structure I mean especially because this lake jumped up like 40 or 50 feet this year or more it was down at 9 percent now it's like up 70 from October and there's a lot of flooded brush and willows pine trees and everywhere so it's kind of hard to figure out what brush to find but not really since they're spotted bass and they kind of there's, there's probably every hundred yards there's probably a thousand keeper spots in this lake everywhere so it's like just find a bank early in the morning with a lot of wood on it, flooded wood. You can find fish guarding fry, or you can just find fish up eating around the wood and the pine trees like we have here. And uh, let's see if I can catch one for you guys here. I stroked him on that wall back there, and I was like, hey, Dad, let's make a video. I have a lot of video or people saying that they don't see me catch anything in my videos. And see if I can pick one up on a sandy here with us. that I caught were just suspended so I caught them out on those walls and I haven't caught any fish shallow today so that's one thing to narrow down as the day goes on and one jump behind us too. Oh god! 
Did you get that on video? I don't know if it was on or not. I think maybe. Yes, this one guy. <clears throat> Saw one jump behind me. And I had a toad, huge one. Big spot. Come up and just smoke this thing. Yeah, you're in the same but spot. Also, yeah, for Sammy's, walk the dog baits for spots. It's a good thing. I'm glad I pulled this out. If you have a fish blow up on a Sammy, or any type of walk the dog bait, it's good. Uh, a vixen, anything, keep walking it. Spots, a lot of the time, they, they just want to kill it. They don't want to eat it. So if you're walking it, and um, you're walking it, and they come up and they, they destroy it and knock the poop out of it, and then you, you kill it, they'll swim away. They did their job. They thought they killed it. It was territorial. But if you uh, keep walking it, they think they haven't killed it yet. They'll come back up and just... They'll keep, keep eating it over and over and over. Uh, so, I mean, I've, I've had spots to eat it, hit it numerous, like that cast I just made right there, only about 30 or 40 yard cast, 30 yards. Um, I've had them eat it probably 10 times in one cast, all the way up to where you bring it up to the boat, and they still haven't ate it yet completely. And, um, and I had that blow up, and I missed it for you guys, but you know, get one more or two, one or two more casts into this video. And uh, I'll make another one later today on um, Sanko fishing. Maybe. Might make another video on Sankos for close long spots, but they suspend. <sighs> Can't believe I missed that fish. Because you were looking back. Yeah. But, uh. You gotta get something in here. You still got a chance to get something in here. Right here, this big point behind us, it's a big shear on one side. And on this side, it's a big spawn and flat on this side. So I'm fishing out a little a little bit deeper and kind of just target casting to flooded brush and whatnot. Well, I'm going to get one more cast in here. Those boat dogs up there is what I would want to fish around, but we get one more cast. the buzz bait a few times today. Saw them blow up on these flooded willows and little weeds and they come up back up and eat it again. Watch them fall it up. Alright, last cat. Trying to say 
realize that all the way until I get to this log up here. Jump right behind it, too. Dang it. Um, I'll post some more fish catching tunes on here if I catch some more throughout the day, and uh, thank you.